Hello and welcome. Welcome back. This is Redemption Goddess. And this is a screenshot that I took from the live video from the uh, Atlanta Fox News or whatever. You see two black people. Two black people. A black woman police officer and a black male police officer sergeant. Okay? Now, they, this man, this big ass man right here, kicked this handcuffed, boob exposed woman in the head. She handcuffed. She lift her head up to try to spit, but okay, where, how far the spit gonna go? And he got on pants and whatever. He not in her face. Okay, just, it doesn't even matter. Kicked her in the head. Black woman standing there looking at her ass. I don't even know how she passed her test. She looked a little overweight. What you think? Kevin Samuels. Do we need Kevin Samuels on the, you know, do we need to tell her she ain't fit, fine, and friendly? He for damn sure. They got all these names for women or whatever. But what is he? Asshole, asshole, asshole. Kick this woman in the head. Now, you know. They reacted quick now. They didn't relieve them from their duty. You didn't hear them say nothing about no paid administration while we investigate. What is it to investigate? You see this shit live on camera. Now, I will say when they're dealing with black folks, oh, they got that heavy hand. They ready for their ass. They are relieved from duty. Both of their ass. But see, when you want to sit up here and talk, I, the worst encounters I've ever had is with black police. In my lifetime, me personally, I'm, we say, well, okay, actually, let me take that on back because I, ha I, I, I had an incident where the man tried to escalate the shit, but I didn't let him, you know, I didn't let him and he was white, but I had a very, very bad encounter with a black woman police officer a long ass time ago that shit was crazy um and the only thing that really saved me from her continuing to harass me was she got some type of car she clicked it you know whatever and she went she went on about her business like she actually just literally walked off from me but okay I went on about my business she went on about her business but if that car wouldn't have came through she was gonna keep on harassing me she kept asking me why you got this car well, normally when you have money, you go and buy a car. The car that you can afford. My car, all my cars have been cashed and cashed out. You know, I, I don't really do car payments. I don't like car payments. I'm not that responsible. If you looked at the video before this, you'll see I'm a Sagittarius. Um, part of our little traits. They say that we're not very responsible. So in an effort to be responsible, I make sure I don't have no obligations. Because I know my ass to get wishy-washy. I ain't going to pay that goddamn bill. Anyway. Kick this woman. Now, she is exposed. That's why they got her blanked out. Her boobs and all that is exposed on the ground. People are filming from far away. They don't think nobody is watching them. Apparently, they got their body cams turned off. They just think, and he just, I, I wish I could have screenshotted with his leg up or something. Because like two or three seconds after this, or a second and a half or whatever, he just casually kicks this woman dead in the head. Okay? Black power my ass. Right? They said, we need to have more folk look like us police in the community. Baby, good and evil does not have a fucking color. I probably didn't have to say fucking, but I just said it just to make more emphasis. It does not. I, when am I ever, I, when am I going to make a video that actually can, 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 can be monitored? I mean, just when, I don't know. Just, I need to write, I'm going to write it out. Anyway, I don't even care right now. But, listen y'all. Good and evil doesn't have a color. You want to be, you, you, you have a few emotions here. You either like, oh well, look at how much leniency they give to the white cops. And look at how quickly they reacted because they're black. 
Okay, here goes that personal responsibility that black folks don't love at all. It does not matter. I don't care if he was purple standing up here, green, blue, orange. He shouldn't have kicked her in the head. If he was a white guy kicking her in the head, they would be at this man's house. They would be at the police officer's house right now. They be barricading shit and whatever. But because he black, this shit slipped through the news. And trust and believe, this is not an old story. This is a fairly recent story. I, I want to say a few days old. Nothing. Not a fucking peep. Black woman, I would presume. she That looked like a brown blur down there at the bottom. No outrage, nothing. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be at this man house. They're not gonna be at this woman cop house. Nobody asking why you didn't turn in your partner. You should have did this. You should have nothing. It's not a especially not for the black community. Nothing. Nothing. They will not be outside this man house. They will not be outside this woman police officer's house after this. Right. Now, these folk probably going to get fired and probably charged for this shit. Now, we know that the justice going to come quick because they black. We do know that. Oh, they going to try. See, y'all done effed up. You know, they going to they gonna really have these people all over the, you know, they going to they gonna really make sure that they get their consequences. And when it's a white officer, oh, we got to investigate. You see how quick they investigated these two black people, right? Two black officers. But what is it to investigate? But see, they even when you have camera footage like this, when it's white people, you have camera footage like this, and it's a white officer involved, the white folks involved, and they'll still sit up there and tell you they got to investigate. And then you will look, and they say that they on a paid leave. Oh, no, nah, baby, you ain't see that shit with this story. They said that they have been relieved. They didn't say nothing about no paid administrative nothing until investigating nothing same footage you know they got to investigate when it's a white officer and it's the same type of footage and they still sitting up there talking about they got to investigate and why they investigating the officer is on the paid leave what black folks do black folks show up as soon as they get the name figure out who the person is they show up at the people house acting the fool I want to know if black folks going to show up at this man's house. Is black folks going to show up at this woman's house? They asked him, hey, why you kick that black woman? Her boobs was out. She was clearly something mentally wrong with her. Uh, why you kick that black woman in the house, in the head? Why you kick her in the head? Nope. Ain't going to be a peep. Not a peep. Even when they plaster their faces up, when they charge they ass for some shit, not a peep. You ain't going to hear nothing. And if you do hear some shit, it's something that's going to take away the accountability and responsibility. Well, what about the white off? Not, yes, punish them. It's going to be, well, what about, and look at this, and look at that. This big, you can clearly tell this is a big ass dude. Kick the shit out this woman in the head. Clearly, this is a brown blur on the ground. They blurred her out because she got her boobs and stuff out. That's why they blurred her out. Clearly, that's a brown blur. Y'all know if that was a white woman, they'd already arrested this man. If that was a white woman he kicked in the head, he would have been in jail already. And the woman might have, the woman cop might have already been in jail. They would have had to send them to jail immediately. Now, this is Atlanta, Georgia. Where, the fa where my favorite liar uh, lives near. Uh, uh, Y'all know who my favorite liar is. My favorite double-talking-ass liar. Talking about folks liked it. and Anyway, oh shit, I got off topic. <laughs> now that's trolling. That's what we call trolling. And for those of you that know and been around, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I ain't even going to mention him in this shit. I just make some other shit and troll him for real. Anyway, I'm just playing. I'm not going to troll him. Um, the shit I talk about is the truth. And just like this damn, um, this whole video, I'm going to link the 
news article. I'm going to link the news video in the link, uh, in the description box. So you can go check out this big ass man kicking this woman in the head. Now, I want to know in the comment section, who will be brave enough to try to nigga explain this away? Well, the white man, and he tried, she tried to spit on him, and you know it's just so hard out here, and duck, duck, goose. <laughs> He's a good man, and she's a good woman, and <laughs> get out something else. Nah, I don't know who the fuck y'all gonna get to try to explain this shit away. She just sat there. When you watch the actual video, she didn't react. I mean, he just literally put his head, put kicked the lady in the head, just just standing there. And you can just kind of tell, like, bitch. You know, you can kind of tell by how he looking. Yo, bitch. Bitch, fuck you. You down on the ground with your boobs out, handcuffed, about to go to jail. Fuck you. Pow! Kick you dead in your head. I wish you would say something. Ain't nobody gonna believe you. I'm the goddamn law. Oops! Somebody recorded your big stupid ass. And then your big old fat ass partner. Oh, see? Damn. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Rewind. Erase. Where my little uh, men in black clicker? You did not hear the last part. Because <laughs> my emotions took away. All the shit that the woman wanted to say. I'm saying it for her. Y'all big bad built motherfuckers. Woman probably on drugs or something wrong with her. She done wild out. Now they say they called, the police was called because she had, they say a woman was brandishing a weapon. Not in this report. When they reporting this and reviewing this, they didn't say nothing about them finding a weapon on this woman. That's something else now. Where's this so-called gun? She was out there brandishing that, that so the, the good Samaritan some good Samaritan called a woman, and then now she done got kicked to them here because of it. You know? They done sat up there and called the police. She could have been wilding now. She could have been down the street wilding, acting a fool or whatever they called the police. But you know, they had to put that little tidbit in it. She got a gun to try to hurry up and get the police there or whatever, not even realizing that that will get this woman killed. And depending on how hard, you know, he could have killed this woman by kicking her in the head. She could have, if she was crazy, she probably a little bit more nuttier now after this big old bad built bitch kicked her in the head. And then the other little bad built broad, she's standing there. Oh, la, la, la. That's what they talking about. That fucking, you thinking, oh, this only white folks. Nah, when they join that police force, white, black, blue, or green, they got that damn code. This woman stood right neck. That's a sergeant. The sergeant kicked her in the head. The big bad Bill bitch, he's the sergeant, y'all. And then the other little bad Bill bra, she's standing there. No, no, what do we do, George? I'm scared. I don't want to lose my pension. I ain't going to lose my pension over this bitch. Protect and serve, right? You protecting the service. Oh, we need to get... I want folk in our community that look like us policing us. Why? So they can kick you in the goddamn head? Why? So they can kick you in your motherfucking head and beat your ass? And, and dare you to say shit? You don't say nothing. Because this the black community. And you need me. You need me over here kicking you in your stupid ass, dumb ass head. No, baby. Good and evil. Evil does not have a fucking color. And the the quicker you figure that out, the better off you will be. You trying to pit this one against that one and man against woman and oh, somebody fucked me over and now I'm mad and da 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 da. The evil folks that fucked you over do not represent the totality of society. Make better choices. Be more patient. Spend more time. Ask more questions. Be more quiet. Whatever you got to do to, to weed out the evil people in your life. But them evil people in your life, they don't represent shit but evil. 
Understand that? Like, share, subscribe, comment below. Thank you for listening.